Hey there, everybody. Greetings. Welcome to May 1st. I am Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility. We have episode one of Perfect Album Sides. That's right. We're going to be doing one episode a day each and every morning throughout the month of May where we look at a classic album and more specifically a perfect album side. So again, uh, let's use the, this term album a little loosely, right? Album is the recorded work, all right? Vinyl, LPs, CDs, cassettes, 8-tracks, that's all the medium, right? That's the format. Uh, but what we're talking about here is back in the original days of when most of us were collecting vinyls initially because that's what we had, right? Uh, you had side A and side B of a record, okay? Or in the case of a double album, you had side A, B, C, and D, right? But we're talking about a selection of songs that appeared on one side of the album, of the record, and each of those songs included on that album is a five out of five star classic, all right? A perfect song, a perfect side of an album. So we, one, some of the criteria is that if, if myself or whoever is joining me on any of these episodes feels that there is a kind of weak track on one of those sides, does not count. If there's only one song on one of those sides, it does not count. It has to have at least two songs on a side to qualify. And again, this really can be from any era, any genre here that we cover on the channel. Uh, however, what we're trying to go for are albums that were originally released on the vinyl format. So we can actually look. It's hard to do with... Um, Albums that were released only on CD because really there is no sides anymore, right? So it's all one com big long work. Uh, but when we back when we were collecting vinyl, right? And maybe plenty of you watching still collect vinyl, right? Uh, I do not. I haven't uh, bought vinyl records in 30 years. Uh, so what you're going to see throughout this episode from me anyway are all CDs, but most of the stuff that I'm going to talk about uh, I originally had on vinyl back in the day, and I still think of in terms of side A and side B, right? So that's kind of what we're going for here. So for this uh, very first episode, and like I said, we're going to be doing this each and every day throughout the month of May, I'm going to pick my perfect uh, album side. If I have a guest, we will each bring one to the table that we will talk about the songs and that particular album. Uh, I'll ask everybody to, if you care to comment, on the perfect album side that uh, myself or me and my guests are discussing. Feel free to do that below as well as bring your perfect album side for that particular day. So again, we're going to kind of try and do this whole interactive thing where we're not only myself or my guests, but you as well watching from home will also have to think about each and every day this month and come up with a perfect album side. So this particular album came out in uh, on February 10th, 1978 on the Warner Brothers label produced by Ted Templeman. One of the great debut albums in all of rock and roll history. I don't think anybody would argue that. It is Van Halen, self-titled. That's right, the first album from Van Halen. Eddie, or Edward, and Alex, David Lee Roth, Michael Anthony. The classic album. And that side one. I mean, does it get much better? than side one of Van Halen 1. I, I don't think so. Every song is just completely memorable, completely kick-ass. It also even includes a cover, but it's one of the best covers of all time. Do you remember the first time you ever heard Running With The Devil on the radio? Or maybe you bought this album right off the bat, right? Running With The Devil, just a killer, throbbing, melodic, hard rock song. Great hook, that guitar playing. The, the vocal shrieks from David Lee Roth. Such a great tune, right? That's followed up by... You know, all that stuff. Eruption. I mean, just... Uh, again, remember the first time you heard Eruption on the radio. Or the, when you bought this album and track number two, song number two, came through the speakers. I mean... We hadn't heard guitar playing like this ever. You know, we had guys like Hendrix and Beck and Page and Clapton and Blackmore and all those guys, right? But then all of a sudden, this young dude comes on the scene and it's just like, Psh, what is this and where did it come from? Eruption, an amazing instrumental song, <clears throat> which is basically a guitar solo. 
uh, with back with a little, you know, the rest of the band drums and, and bass at certain parts, but it's mostly Eddie just going, you know, absolutely berserk. And it's just, it's so perfect sounding. The production's so amazing. So we go running with the devil into eruption and then from eruption. And that's usually back in the old days, uh, at least on radio, they generally speaking, always played eruption with you really got me a scorching sizzling cover of the classic track by the kinks originally recorded uh, a decade plus before this and all of a sudden now you really got me becomes this hard rock anthem of the late 70s how many people back in the day heard you really got me and had no idea that it was ever a song recorded by the kinks Right, because it's all of a sudden now, and, and you know, You Really Got Me by the Kinks was a heavy, hard rocking song, a riffy song at the time, pretty groundbreaking for the time in the mid 60s. But You Really Got Me in 1978 is just, you know, it's a game changer right there, right? The great solo, you know, David Lee Roth sounds amazing on it. And then, of course, you know, Ain't Talking About Love. That riff that lick at the beginning such a headbanging song i mean this is heavy stuff here heavy stuff here ain't talking about love still to this day one of my favorite tracks from van halen and then to finish off side one i mean i'm the one jesus i mean is that one of is that not one of the great uh, album side closers in all of rock history. Just amazing. Heavy song. Heavy song. Running with the devil. Eruption. You really got me. Ain't talking about love. I'm the one. Absolute perfection. And you know what? Side two or side B ain't half bad either. <laughs> Could have picked either one, really. <clears throat> Although, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, Ice Cream Man is fun and everything like that. And, you know, Little Dreamer I like a lot too. But And Feel Your Love Tonight. But, and, you know, you got Jamie's Crying and Atomic Punk. And on fire, you know, it, it, side two is great too. But side one, to me, f each song, five out of five star classic. Doesn't get much better than that. Total game changer of an album. Total game changer of a side. That is Van Halen 1 is my perfect album side. Side A of Van Halen 1, 1978. That is my pick for today. Let us know what you think about that particular side, right, that album side, and uh, also your pick for today here on May 1st. Day one of Perfect Album Sides. We're going to be doing this each and every day throughout the month of May throughout the month of May. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing uh, a bunch of these solo. Uh, I will have my uh, my good friend Steve Fleck, who many of you have seen here on the channel. He hasn't been on in a while, but uh, he's done various shows here on SOT over the years. He will be joining me for a bunch of them uh, throughout the month. And we'll also have other folks here on Sea of Tranquility who will be joining me here and there. So uh, stay tuned for that. It should be a lot of fun. So on, on you know, the days where we get uh, you get me and someone else, you get a twofer which is kind of nice, so uh, you won't just get uh, however, however many days we're in this month. I haven't even looked. Uh, 30, 31, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't looked at the calendar, but uh, instead of just getting my picks all month, you'll get myself and fairly frequently someone else. So uh, that should be lots of fun. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, like I said, each and every day here throughout the month of May as we bring you some of our perfect album sides. Again, criteria is has to be two songs or more. Okay, and it, has, it should be... Uh, a an album that was released on vinyl uh, at some point in time, right? So we can actually fairly distinguish um, side A and side B or side one, side two. That's that whole thing. So uh, stay tuned. What do we got coming up? We've got album homework assignment coming up today. That is right. We've got uh, Guitar Hack going up against J uh, Jim Baki. I was going to say James Baki. That is his name, but we call him Jim. Jim Baki against uh, Guitar Hack coming up. That's happening in just a little bit, so stay tuned for that. And then we got uh, the week kicks off with the Hudson Valley Squares tomorrow. In the prog scene on Tuesday, Wednesday is new album review day. What's hot with Sea of Tranquility Day? Thursday, the Monsters Den. We've got a cool show talking about our favorite Amicus production films. Of course, Amicus, uh, kind of like the number two British uh, film company, film studios out of uh, Great Britain. 
in the 60s and 70s, kind of right behind Hammer. Often kind of looked at like this Hammer Jr., uh, but some really, really great films on their own. So we're going to be taking a look at uh, our 10 favorites of those on Thursday. Friday morning, of course, is time for the Fun House. Friday morning, the Fun House with Martin Popoff and myself. Then we've got uh, Saturday, the UK Connection with Simon Brain and Stephen Reed. And then we'll be back once again on Sunday with uh, album homework assignment. Uh, it should be myself going head-to-head with Chris Allo this coming uh, next Sunday. So uh, stay tuned for that and a lot more here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell. Very important. You get alerted of all of our content as they post, although we are <clears throat> pretty predictable here on SOT. I like to have specific content each and every day so you guys know exactly what's coming at all times. But, uh, you know, we do have occasional things that pop up like, uh, you know, album rankings and all sorts of other fun stuff. So that does happen uh, from time to time. But if you make sure you have that notification bell thing clicked, you will get notified every time we have a video launching. So very, very important. We also have down below, for those of you who want to make a contribution to the channel, help us uh, buy more music, buy more movies, so we constantly have things to talk about here on the channel. The link is to that is below, as well as the link to our merch page, uh, so you can get a hold of some cool Sea of Tranquility stuff to wear and show off out there and help spread the word. So uh, thanks for watching, I'm Pete Pardo. Thanks, uh, episode one, Under the Belt. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Perfect album sides. Till then, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.